kiddos so i am in the middle of grading a dialectical journal and i just kind of want to take this example which i will keep um, private here to you know model how we can change our words around a little bit to help us have a successful looking dialectical journal i'm a little bit concerned about the words in the text in this section because it says abigail and rowley moved to a different table and she took rowley with her I, I have a feeling that this was paraphrased rather than taken word for word because it's awkward when the subjects are Abigail and Rowley took Rowley, you know, when Rowley is um, part of the subject here. Or so, so there's that concern. And then there, you know, there are inference. And remember, an inference is what you, what you're guessing about what they're not showing. I mean, they're not telling you, they're showing you, right? So they are a couple so they decided to move with the couple's section and i want to you know that is that could be a valid inference you know we don't know for sure it says nothing about being a couple but if your if your evidence is that they move with the couple's couple section then the fact that they move to a couple section should be somewhere on the text okay and we don't see that so right now i'm looking at an inference that has no evidence, therefore it looks more like a summarizing sentence rather than an actual inference. And remember, something that that is an actual inference takes the information that's there. For example, Abigail and Rowley might have, um, you know, were upset and they moved to, to a couple section. We don't see, they moved, um, not maybe not the couple section, but they moved and, and, and we definitely see a move here. Uh, and again, I have a feeling this was paraphrased because it leaves no suggestion to their moving for any reason. Okay, it doesn't suggest that they moved because they were upset, they moved because they were a couple, they moved for any reason. So there there has to be something to be able to infer here. They're not really showing you anything. They're telling you they moved. Okay, so I would be cautious with the text you're choosing as well. Um, when creating a prediction... Remember here we see my prediction is that maybe everybody thinks. And when you say everybody thinks, you're talking about the present. And remember that when we're talking about a prediction, we are actually talking about the future. Okay? I'm sorry, I know I'm, I'm writing so sloppy because uh, I'm trying to hold the phone and write at the same time. But, um... That's about the, not, I didn't really do much better there. Um, so rather than saying that, that maybe everybody thinks, everybody will think, right? It's going to happen later on um, that he's dumb or something. And don't forget the because component. Why do we think that someone, that they're going to think that he's dumb? Believe me, the last person in the world I, I ever thought would have a girlfriend was Rowley. It, it doesn't leave a suggestion that everybody will think he's dumb. Okay, there's things you need to be very cautious with the kinds of predictions you're making based on the text you're using. Um, and okay, so we see a connection here. Mom never tells us when her family is coming to visit. And then we see here, my friend doesn't like my mom's sisters because they're mean. And when you start off with my friend here, I already know that it's a personal connection uh and i know this because it, it's you right my right here and remember i asked you to make it a text to text text to world i'm like the world's worst um camera woman here but it's 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 really important that you make that connection Th that you don't make personal connections, but rather text-to-text -text connections, text-to-world connections. Is there a book that you could have um, connected this to? Is there a worldly, you know, connection that you can make this to as well? So it, that's another important thing to keep in mind. Um, back here, we see a question. Why would he feel guilty? Why would he wish for that? And I want... I'm. I, I, I like, I find that valid. I really wish mom wouldn't say things like that because that makes me feel guilty. Um, that's a good question because you probably won't find it in the, in the book. You'll have to read enough to infer why they would be guilty. And um, and it, it's not a yes or no question. Different, you know, 
uh, answers could be acceptable to this. So this is a very good, strong question. I also want to take the time to show you uh, great examples of this. Um, so the top gallery was lit in some way and the girl with dark hair, long curls Rebecca could see now, was still learning, leaning over the railings. I infer that it's a ghost because Rebecca is the only one who can see it. So I'm not going to continue with the rest, but I just want to show you that um, the inference is uh, something that's going on right now. That she that it is a ghost and she has that because component meaning the evidence and the evidence really is backed off by the words on the text here uh, when when reading over her prediction I don't think of you that way I never did Anton said um, Anton Valid I can't really understand the, the that word oh Anton laid his hand on Rebecca's and they fell silent my prediction is that they're going to kiss, so it's going to happen later on. That's a prediction about the future because they both like each other and they're alone in silence with their hands touching. So, again, ba um, backed up by the mood and the, and the words in the text. The connection I made with, uh, with part of the text is that once in this comedy movie so we're seeing a connection to a movie here it's not about this in individual but it's about a movie movie they've seen um but i do want to mention that you want to whenever you uh you're connecting to a movie or a book you want to mention the movie you want to mention the book if you're talking about a community you want to mention that community that you saw the um connection in and uh, why does she only haunt at night? That would be a good question, right? Um, Delfina only haunts at night. And you want to know why? Why would that be? And that is a great question because more than one acceptable answer. There's more than one acceptable answer for this type of question. You have to dig deep into the text to, to get it. It's not a yes or no question. It's not just a one word response. So good job. Here's another wonderful connection, a text-to-text -text connection where she uses her book and she connects it to the book called Little Small Life. And not only does she make that connection that the main character in this book was texting friends uh, when he was in the woods, but she makes a reference as, as the same is happening in this book as he's texting. I, uh, late night while I was getting ready for bed, I got a text, Emma, and then he's in the woods. So... Again, great connection.